In this training video, we'll explore Onshape documents and introduce you to Onshape's user interface. Let's get started. As you know, Onshape runs in any web browser that supports WebGL. Here we're using Google Chrome. Once you log in, you'll be taken to the Onshape documents page. It lists all the Onshape documents that are available for you to access. I'll open a document and explain exactly how Onshape stores your work and associated data. As you can see, an Onshape document is not a file, but a container of project information, which is stored in tabs. The tabs can contain part studios, assemblies, and drawings, as well as other uploaded files. Now some of these files, like PDF or JPEG images, will be rendered in the tab so you can view them. Other data types will simply be stored and you can download them for later use. One of the most important things to understand is that Onshape constantly records your work and all this data is stored together in the cloud. There are no Onshape files on your computer and there is no save button. Okay, let's return to the main page and discuss its interface. It's here you'll see a list of documents you can access, whether you have created them yourself or they have been shared specifically with you or available for public access. Notice that you can filter the list of documents using the preset selections on the left. You can even search for specific documents using the search field at the top of the page. As you navigate the actual list of documents, you can click the fields on the right and get more information and a preview. Now without opening the document, you can perform document-specific tasks, such as sharing, showing the history, and visualizing the versions available within each document. This last task allows you to open a document at a specific version. Finally, notice at the top right, you can invite others to Onshape, access the help resources, share a selected document, and manage your account. When you manage your account, you'll be able to reset your password, as well as set the default unit values for your documents. Okay, let's open a document and look at its interface more closely. When you open a document, there are pieces of information worth noting. The name of the document and its workspace are at the top of the screen. And at the bottom, you'll see the tabs, and the Open tab will be highlighted. In Onshape, you do specific operations in specific tabs. You build and modify parts in Part Studios, create assemblies with motion in the Assembly tab, and you can have multiple Part Studios and assemblies within each document. At the bottom left, there's a plus symbol, which will allow you to add new Part Studios, assemblies, or upload files into the document. The menu next to the plus symbol shows you a list of tabs. This is especially useful when there are many tabs. The tabs, of course, can be made active by clicking on them, but you can also right mouse click on them to perform specific operations such as rename, translate, and add properties. In Onshape's graphic area, you can rotate the models by right mouse clicking and dragging, zoom in and out using the mouse wheel, and pan using a combination of the control key and the right mouse button. There's a view cube at the top right corner and this will also allow you to change view, either by clicking a cube face, the ISO corner, or the manipulators at the border of the cube. The smaller icon beneath the cube allows you to quickly change to an isometric, dimetric, or trimetric view, and change the shading type. You can also invoke the section view command from the menu. Like most traditional CAD applications, Onshape has a feature list area and a toolbar across the top. Both areas will change depending on whether you're an assembly or a part. The toolbar will also change if you're sketching. One thing you should note is that there's right mouse button menus that appear when you click different areas of the interface. Notice if I right mouse button click on the graphic area, I can zoom to fit or switch to an isometric view. If I depress the right mouse button while I'm over a model's planar face, I get new options including insert sketch. Clicking the right mouse button on a feature or a sketch in the feature list allows me to edit that item or roll back to the state of the model. With a right mouse click on a part name, I can change its name or its appearance. These in-context menus are worth learning as they save both time and mouse travel. You do have some control over the user interface. You can reorder tabs, resize the list area, and even move the view cube to a new location. Onshape provides information about each command or dialog box field. Simply hover the cursor over the area of interest for a few seconds. Here you can see the name of the command. A few seconds later, you'll get a deeper description. And then once selected, we can get information about the required fields within the command. If the feature name is red, 
then the selections have not been completed or are invalid. One last thing to note about Onshape's interface. There are numerous hotkeys programmed to save you time. You can press the escape key to cancel out of any command. Press the space bar to deselect entities and use the F key to zoom the fit. Also, the N key will view normal to a selected plane or active sketch and the P key will toggle the visibility of planes. You can learn all the hotkeys by clicking on the help menu and choosing keyboard shortcuts from the menu. We've covered quite a bit, so let me review the important points. Onshape does not use files, but uses documents, which stores all product information in tabs, including part studios, assemblies, drawings, and other data files. All data is constantly recorded, so you'll never use a save button. Use the right mouse button to rotate, the mouse wheel to zoom, and control right mouse button to pan. Keyboard shortcuts will also speed your work. Finally, you can right mouse click on different areas of the interface to get in context menus. In the next video, we'll put all this knowledge to use as we create parts in Onshape's Part Studio.